In this example, I want to show you how to calculate entropy change. Let's look at problem part A. Evaluate 10 mole liquid in hexane enthalpy change from 25 degrees Celsius to 65 degrees at 1 atm. And we know that for liquid species, specific enthalpy change is equal to pressure change times specific volume plus heat capacity from T1 to T2. And we know that the pressure change is zero because from 25 to 65 degrees is the same pressure. So the change in enthalpy is equal to heat capacity from T1 to T2, dT. And we can find the constant using in heat capacity from table B2. There are two ways to write the equation. I prefer the second equation because it requires less constant and less calculation. For liquid in hexane, we find that A is 216 times 10 to negative 3. Make sure you have the right exponent. Because if you read the constant from the table, for liquid in hexane, A times 10 to the third is 216.3. So to get A, simply use this value times 10 to negative 3. And substitute this number into the heat capacity in the integral. And our starting temperature is 25 degrees. And then we can use your scientific calculator to calculate the result for change in specific enthalpy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use TI-84 to calculate change in specific enthalpy that is integral or heat capacity from T1 to T2. Then first hit math, then scroll down, all the way down. When you reach 9, it's finite integral. Then the lower limit is your starting temperature. That is 25 degrees. And upper limit is the final temperature. That is 65 degrees Celsius in the problem statement. And then input the constant A. You can find this value from the table B2. My A is 216.3 times 10 to negative 3. And there's no d term, there's dx. My dx is the dt in the book. Then I got 8.652. But we're not done yet. Notice the unit is kilojoule per mole. But we're looking for enthalpy that had the unit on kilojoule. So simply use this value times the mole number because we talk about specific property that is the energy term divided by either mole number or mass number. And in this case, we have specific enthalpy change is kilojoule per mole. So we can simply use this number to times the mole number given in the problem statement to cancel out the term in the vol. To cancel the term in mole, then we have kilojoule. That is the right unit for energy because energy should have the units Joule, kilojoule, or watt, kilowatt, like that. This is a way to double check your answer in your quiz or exam. Part B, evaluate the enthalpy change for 10 mole gas in hexane from 75 degrees to 102 degrees Celsius at 1 atm. Again, the pressure is constant, so we still have to use heat capacity at constant pressure. And then substitute the constant you find in the table into this equation. And then you can calculate the answer using your scientific calculator. So from TID4, go to math again, scroll down to 9, finish integral. Then lower limit this time is 75. Upper limit is 102 degrees Celsius. And my A for gas in hexane is 137.44 times 10 to negative 3 plus BT. B is 40.85 times 10 to negative 5. And X. Plus CT to 
92. My C is negative 23.92 times 10 to negative 8. And t to negative 2. Again, my x is t in the book. Negative 2. And dx. Enter. That's your answer. Then we get this. Again, this is kilojoule per mole. And then we had to times 10 mole, giving the proper statement. Then we have 46.87 kilojoule. Just double check your unit. Now that is the right answer.